Yo, it's your boy Connor. How are you guys doing today? And uh, we got a couple upgrades today. We we got our new mic. So if I sound too loud or whatever, let me guys know. Uh, it's a new DJI mic. You know, we're, we're trying to get get better quality out for you guys. So if you guys are here, sticking for the third video, we are starting to put the transmission back in. So the last video you guys saw, we took out the transmission, took out a couple seals. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to put it on. Uh, I'm gonna attempt it by myself the very first time. And then after that, um, if it doesn't work out, uh, cause I'm kind of anticipating it not working out because uh, I've taken it out, you know, obviously, but I haven't put it back on by myself. So it seems pretty simple. I might use a ratchet strap or so. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and um, put the flywheel on. I have all the flywheel bolts, brand new OEM flywheel bolts if I can find them right here. They're Toyota OEM bolts. These are expensive. They're like, like 120 bucks or something like that. I might've got ripped off, but we're gonna go ahead and put those on the flywheel. We put the pilot bearing on last video rear main seal, all that stuff. We got, just got to clean up a little bit down there, but that's fine. Then flywheel and the clutch. I mean, I'm going to install the clutch the way, same way we took it out. We're just going to put it back and then um, tighten it down through the axis bolts. That's how I see how everyone do it. That's how I'm going to do it. So without further ado, let's get down to get this transmission in. So today we will be installing these boys. Super nice. It's a Luke flywheel and the South Bend daily clutch. And I already did the throw out bearing. All the clips are in. And oh, oh this thing's kind of heavy. Everything's pretty good. Um, I think I did this right. All the clips are seem to be in the right place. So, uh, I looked it up, so to make sure. We're gonna have to make sure that we clean the surface on this, clean the surface on that. So whenever they mate, it's as clean as possible, so we have no issues with anything like that. Let's stop wasting time. Let's get into the car. Alrighty, so we're back in the freaking trenches, my boy. And my hat fell off, and um, we're out here. So I cleaned up the nice little area. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Uh, oh, it's pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a dual mass flywheel, so it's gonna be a pain in the butt. The torque specs are, uh, 36 uh, foot pounds and then a 90 degree turn. So we'll do in a crisscross pattern. Yeah, it should be pretty simple. Let's, let's see how this goes. This is why I work out, you know. This is the main reason. I just hook this shit over my goddamn shoulder. Oh. I gotta clean the back of it. Lol. Oh. The shit should, this side shouldn't really matter, but. Still clean as a whistle. The next side, this side, we will clean thoroughly, but not right now. Let's see if we can align it first try. I put a bolt in there before it, before it falls on me. I lost the socket with it. <laughs> no. I lost the freak socket. <laughs> That's such a me thing to do. Give me one second and find it. Oh, it's in my pocket, bro. <laughs> I'm such a goop. <sighs> make sure that you have your pen with you, a marker pen, to make sure that we know which ones are torqued, which ones are not. Where we gotta go, what we gotta do. I'm the worst fucking mechanic, but. It's time for the transmission. I think, yeah. I mean, essentially we're done. We have the rear main so everything's good to go. Pilot bearings in there. Flywheel's fully torqued. Um, so am I. <laughs> um, and now it's time for the transmission. We can try to attempt to do it ourselves, but uh, 
we'll see if that uh, actually is going to work just fine, but let's see. Pray for me. All right, baby, we're out here with the clutch, and this is what I was saying. I got it all set up. We just got to clean up that surface whenever we do put the clutch in, but yeah, everything's good. This is a little, little fork, and this one goes like this right here, but it also connects right here. So this and then this lathe cylinder right here pushes on it. So we have to put this after we actually put that clutch in, but or that pressure plate in, but I gotta put grease on the splines, grease on here, and then grease on the back of this real quick, just to make sure that we don't have any crazy, like, I don't know, friction stuff and things get hot, you know? I'm using white lithium grease. Um, a lot of people just use multi-purpose grease, but I heard that white lithium grease just works well on this stuff, so it'll be good. Uh, hopefully, I'm using the right stuff. I mean, I looked up online and it seemed pretty good. It's for friction. And stuff so let me do that real quick and then I think I'm gonna attempt to put it in myself with no help so <laughs> let's see how that goes here's a uh, number one attempt uh, the clutch and flywheel uh, no the clutch and uh, pressure plate are on there and um, yeah so uh, let's try to do this I don't really know how I'm gonna do this um, my I'm thinking is uh, I take a man child force it onto this and then we strap her on and uh, yeah I kind of just go with the flow honestly I'm supposed to be going to like a car meet or like whatever it's Friday night um, I'm sorry Joe I ain't going Tristan same thing I ain't going um, I think I'm just gonna try to get this transmission in and uh, hopefully not die you know <sighs> we'll see We're good. It just fell. We're good. Nothing happened. Yeah, we're good, dude. <sighs> I thought something happened. It's also pretty scary because uh, the quick jacks like move a lot now. I don't know why, but. I think uh, as long as I just get it under the tunnel, we should be fine. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm low key kind of scared. Not gonna lie, but fuck it. We gotta get her done. This is not a one person job, bro. All right, so it was very blurry. I just looked back at the video. It was very blurry, but look at this. It's pretty much on there. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have. It's not very interesting. If you were to see me, it's just struggling, but two jack method for the win. I'm just gonna put these bolts in real quick and then we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually really proud of myself for doing this uh, by myself. <laughs> All right, so we are back. A little bit of a 
wardrobe change. It's been a couple days. The hair's a little messy, but we did get a lot done. I did torque down the pressure plate. I was able to torque down the transmission. I was able to uh, actually get the drive shaft in. So the drive shaft's in, fully torqued down. So am I. Psych. Now what we got to do is we got to put transmission fluid on, um, which is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. So not too bad. I have a pump got a fluid pump so it shouldn't be too bad um i believe the way you do it is you put it on there like you put the fluid in there until it overflows and then that's how you know that it is fully full i mean i guess so that's what i'm gonna go with um we should be good to go other than that all we have to do is put the exhaust on and then the shifter and then we should be good to go uh the car should be able to uh, move so it's currently raining right now so i don't really don't want to move it but i don't think we'll be done today so we'll see if we are or not but we're moving along super good. I'm so excited. The hair is so, so crazy. I actually kind of missed the fade, not gonna lie, but it looks good. Alrighty, so we have everything here that we're gonna need is we have the hand pump and then we have the V160 fluid. They should just take under two of these bottles. So we should be good with two. Um, granted, I don't spill anything. Should be good. I got the um, fill plug all ready to go. It's Teflon tape should plug up so we should be good it should just uh, be full all the way to the top and it'll start dripping out and that's how we know it's full so let's get it done All right, so everything is pretty much ready to go. I just need to put the exhaust on. So see if I can find an entertaining um, angle for you guys to watch and uh, struggle. Um, because uh, this is not going to be fun. I'm by myself. And uh, it was already pretty bad taking it off. Uh, I can't imagine how it's going to be putting it back in. In, baby. Right here, there's two hangers. It's kind of weird the way this like exhaust is set up, but yeah, the, that was just annoying. We got the one right here, ready to rumble. She's good, solid. Now. Whenever we get the downpipe installed and everything, we'll be good to go. Alrighty, so we are back from bolting everything down. It is the next day. I got the clutch bled. Uh, I got everything bolted down. The exhaust is bolted down. Everything is bolted down. Um, I made sure to double check everything is good. And uh, the quick jacks are out. So <laughs> we're about to start her up for the first time. Hopefully we don't hear any freaking bad noises. All right, so bad news, the battery is just completely dead. So I'm gonna let it charge real quick. Uh, gonna get some food, we'll be right back. All right, so I charged it. Let's uh, see if she's gonna start now. She started. All right, so it started. She's a little smoky because of the uh, valve stem seals but we're gonna pull her out real quick and see if uh, she moves by, by her own i'm kind of nervous but we'll see this is the situation where i wish the car wasn't so loud so i could hear more but well, let's go on a drive real quick. Sorry if the uh, view isn't the best. It's literally sitting on the thing, but. <laughs> it is actually so much easier to move. Holy shit. So on record, we're at 200,452 
thousand kilometers and we got to get to quite a bit actually we got to get to 500 miles so I don't, I don't necessarily know how much that is but we'll see all right let's let's continue this uh, first test drive and see how it goes this is just so much easier dude <laughs> oh this is so much easier to drive dude I should have done the clutch swap a long time ago Try to go into third. <laughs> so smooth, dude. Like, I can't wait for this clutch to be fully in. This is gonna be just an amazing car. Like, I didn't like driving it beforehand because it was just so, like, you had to get the clutch in right or else it would, uh, it would just fucking not be good. Like, I don't know, it was just not the best. Something's rattling though, for sure. Well, boys, uh, we're out here. Uh, it looks it looks good. It looks like the car is driving very well. Um, it makes a little sound. I don't know if it's because the clutch is brand new or um, I don't know. Uh, well, we're just gonna drive it a couple more miles uh, and then check it out later and see if maybe it's because uh, something I did wrong or anything. But so far, I mean, it's made it out here. Look at that. She sounds solid, dude. These new wheels, or the, these new color wheels, I absolutely, I love the way the color looks, dude. It looks freaking sick on the car. It, the the camera doesn't make it any justice, dude. It doesn't, it doesn't give it, it's like a bronze color, dude. It looks sick. I'm actually super excited. Thank you again for watching the video. I uh, thank you so much for following up with uh, all of my videos and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go drive the Super a little more, make sure she's good to go. But yeah, I love you guys so much. See you guys in the next one. Bye.